Hello students, I am Dr. Talma Bishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is alkene epoxidation with urea hydrogen peroxide. I know will, lots of question will come from the headline. So let's learn everything step wise. Before going to details, one MCQ. What is the oxidation product of nitrile with hydrogen peroxide? Okay, so four options are provided. I request you please pause the video and write your answer in the comment box. Definitely at the end you will get your right answer and by the way remember one important statement self evaluation is essential for improvement. So you should do it. Now let's come to the our main topic the overall reaction is reaction of alkene with RCN means this nitrile which produces epoxide and amide. By the way simple question what is the new or unique thing on this. First of all in this case you can see the oxidation pro actually the oxidant is hydrogen peroxide. We know that hydrogen peroxide can't oxidize simple alkene to corresponding epoxide because hydrogen peroxide is in electron rich and this hydrogen peroxide can do nucleophilic epoxidation. I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on this you may visit. So what is nucleophilic epoxidation as I told it can not directly oxidize the alkene to corresponding epoxide but it can do if this alkene is attached to electron withdrawing group like al this carbonyl means this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl can undergo epoxidization using hydrogen peroxide. But I have taken a simple alkene how this reaction is happening point number one what is the role of this RCN and why this urea hydrogen peroxide what is the role of urea hydrogen peroxide. So lots of question we shall learn step wise. Now first question why urea hydrogen peroxide why not hydrogen peroxide solution I shall explain. First urea hydrogen peroxide urea is also called this urea hydrogen peroxide or UHP is a solid composed of equal amount of hydrogen peroxide and urea. We know that urea is solid hydrogen peroxide is liquid but their composite is solid why because actually they from this is the hydrogen and this is the hydrogen from urea moiety means this one and this is the hydrogen peroxide. So, this is nothing but hydrogen bonding. So, these hydrogen bonding helps to stabilize hydrogen hydrogen peroxide here and ultimately the product is solid better to say crystalline solid. Now in this case it dis if it dissolves in water it produces free hydrogen peroxide. So the composite means this hydrogen bonded adduct is solid but if you add water hydrogen peroxide will produce. So you may consider this is a pure hydrogen peroxide where urea does not interfere in the reaction. So, and in this way depending on the water addition you can produce hydrogen peroxide. So, you have a control means you may consider that this composite which is actually water free can produce hydrogen peroxide and which offers a higher stability of hydrogen peroxide and better controllability than liquid hydrogen peroxide because whatever in a reaction if you say you producing water from hydrogen peroxide and that water will produce hydrogen peroxide from this composite. So, you may consider it as an auto catalytic process means the proto product is acting as a catalyst to regenerate the reactant. So, reaction will happen smoothly that is the best and remember in this case hydrogen peroxide act as oxidizing agent and based on our understanding we can consider that hydrogen peroxide is one of the greenest oxidizing agent because ultimate product after oxidation by hydrogen peroxide is water because hydrogen peroxide has two oxygen. So, it gives one oxygen for this epoxidation reaction and what is left H 2 H 1 oxygen means water we know it's, it is it is the less harmful benign. So, that is the best thing and why not hydrogen peroxide solution first of all in hydrogen peroxide solution we have back we can have maximum 30 percent hydrogen peroxide concentration because of the safety issue because hydrogen peroxide can decompose and produce this water and oxygen. So, it is explosion chance possible oxidation. So, some health means hazards or risk factors are there which is somehow handled in case of this urea hydrogen peroxide composite. So, this is the beauty of this reagent. So, you may consider this is actually solid store of hydrogen peroxide. So, main reactive thing is here hydrogen peroxide. So, what happens this hydrogen peroxide reacts with this nitrile why because we know hydrogen peroxide is a better nucleophile why because the adjacent lone pair of these two oxygen repels each other. Consequently, this reagent became more reactive compared to 
nucleophile like water if you compare this water versus hydrogen peroxide who is more nucleophilic obviously hydrogen peroxide because of this lone pair lone pair repulsion and this is termed as alpha effect consequently since it is more nucleophile so it will attack this nitrile center and it will open up so first step it will produce this r c n minus here o o h <coughs> here hydrogen so, this oxygen will have a formal positive charge. Now, this oxygen will release this proton and this nitrogen will abstract this proton and ultimately it will produce this part. By the way, you can consider this reagent with an another famous reagent for example, par acid or more specifically if I say meta chloro par benzoic acid we know this is also named as M. CPBA. We know it is a very famous reagent for epoxidation of alkene to the corresponding epoxide. Similar thing you can observe in this reagent. So, here the difference is this oxygen is replaced by NH, everything is same. And this epoxidation is called electrophilic epoxidation. So, this is electrophilic epoxidation. So, in this case similar property you can see and what is the property that is epoxidation of alkene to the corresponding epoxide. And in this context we know that in case of epoxide what it does this terminal oxygen is transferred to the double bond alkene similar thing is happened and in the after the reaction what is the fate of this reagent similar like this what it produces this meta chlorobenzoic acid. So, similarly what it can produce R C let me write it in a relatively cleaner space this R C this is the N H and here O H. So, it is imine alcohol type. So, it tautomerizes instantly to the corresponding keto derivative means this is the amide. So, in this way the final product is produced. Now, what are the proof of the statement? This is the literature where I have taken this. So, you can see the first step this hydroperoxide renine generation, second step that is this means this one uh, this active species generation with hydrogen peroxide and RCN and third stage that this reactant plus this three means this one oxidizes any reactant and ultimately it converts into amide or more specifically if you look at everything is mentioned here, here pH 8 means relatively mild alkaline thing is better for this purpose and you can see hydrogen peroxide here reacted with the hydroperoxide produced here and produced oxygen and water. This is the question just re remember recall sometime before what I told the produced water consequently where the water comes actually for this overall reaction two molecules of hydrogen peroxide needed to oxidize this RCN into corresponding R C O N H 2 this amide. So, in this case one molecule is con oxidizes and another molecule produces this oxygen atom along with one water. So, this water is responsible and it reacts with this urea hydrogen peroxide composite and releases hydrogen peroxide such that reaction can proceed smoothly. So, this is the overall discussion. So, what is the product of reaction between RCN and hydrogen peroxide? This peroxo this derivative. So, in conclusion what you have learned urea hydrogen peroxide is a stable easy to handle hydrogen peroxide derivative which releases hydrogen peroxide in a controlled fashion. Commercial hydrogen peroxide concentration up to 30 percent due to safety reason and in this case this urea hydrogen peroxide is stabilized because of the hydrogen bonding between the urea NH and oxygen of hydrogen peroxide. And in this case the product is water which is produced from decomposition apparently catalyzes the further decomposition of urea hydrogen peroxide to the hydrogen peroxide itself. And the final one is using nitrile and nucleophilic epoxidizing reagent means hydrogen peroxide or you can say hydro peroxide could be converted into a electrophilic oxidizing agent just think as I told like MCPBA. So, what is the answer of this question? is what is the fate or oxidation of RCN influence by hydrogen peroxide it produces amide. So, option A is the answer and why not other because it is milder condition. So, amide cannot hydrolyze and produce carboxylic acid point number 1 it is hydrogen peroxide with R alkyl hydro hydroperoxide not possible and this is a peroxy acid it is also not possible because we have taken RCN. 
so this option a is the answer for today's discussion now at last i thank everyone for watching this video and i request you if possible please visit one of my another channel climate and chemistry where i upload global warming and climate change related videos see you in my next video take care bye